You guys, look at this mess I'm making. <laughs> I got my little um, swatches done, but now I'm putting labels on them because I'm OCD, I guess. I know I'm not OCD, but I didn't like the way they looked with it written on there, so I went and got refills for my awesome label maker, which uh, cost a flipping fortune, by the way, um, and I'm making labels. The refills for these guys are crazy, crazy expensive. So I got those, started to do the labels this afternoon, and the batteries died in it. So I had to go buy batteries for this thing. Like, I just want this project to be done. But I still have all of those to labels. I got I got those up there. They're labeled and these labeled. So this clearly is not going to be finished today. But whatever. I got green ones because they were cheaper. <laughs> I, I got pink ones too. Um, instead of just plain white ones, because plain white ones are cost more expensive. I mean, I'm talking about like 20 bucks a refill, like it's crazy. But anyway, um, so this is what I'm up to this afternoon. My fingers are sore, like, but look, I have a French. I like never wear a French, and I got a dangle. Yay. Anyway, um, I'm going to turn around. I hope I look okay. I don't even know. Um, I also want to say I'm going to be sharing a um, link on both of my Facebook pages, my business page and my personal page. I want you guys to go have a look. It's for, it's a GoFundMe. It is for my client and friend, her daughter. Just imagine, like you're just living your life. You're newlywed, you're, you know, happy-go-lucky. And you are just going out one weekend and you're going to like Renaissance Festival and you're having a good time and then all of a sudden you have a seizure. Can you even imagine? Like, and then you finally get it figured out and it's because your spinal cord is getting blocked off by your brain. And then now you have to have surgery on your freaking head. Like on the back of your head, that's so scary to me. Just out of the blue, guess what? We have to cut into your head. No, that's not cool. But um, that is my client and friend's daughter, and I feel so terrible for her. Um, but there's a GoFundMe page, and I want you guys to have a look at it and do anything you can. They really need the help, and it's such an, a crazy situation. I can't even imagine trying to put myself into. Um, but I want you to do the same thing. Try to put yourself in that situation. Um, read her story, go to the link, I'll put it in, um, like I said, I'll post it on both of the Facebook pages, have a look, um, it's, uh, important, okay? Alright guys, have a good weekend, bye! Hey guys, okay, so, another crazy thing I'm doing today, this is a bowl of very warm water with a little soap in it. I just um, did a little research on um, working with tarantula molts, which is what I have right here that my sweet little friend Abigail brought in for me to work on. So you'll see. These are the, the molts, the skin that the tarantulas have molted off. I'm trying to get a hold of They're so delicate. Oh, they're so delicate. But this is supposed to be the way in which, see, that's its stomach. And see its little, there you go. That's its stomach. So, supposedly, soaking them in this warm, soapy water will help it open up so I can decorate it for Abigail's aunt. So. I'm going to try with just one. I'm supposed to soak this for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to try one of the little baby ones who already has its little leg kind of hanging off there. So I'm going to see what I can do with that later. But I'm going to try to get this to open up for me and then dry it back out so that we can decorate it. So I'm going to stick this in the water. I'm wearing gloves because I'm not sure if body oils do anything to it or if the body oil is going to affect my airbrushing or anything later. So I'm just going to try to get 
try to get him completely immersed here as gently as I can. See, there goes his leg that was broken. I may have to glue that back on. I want to show you guys. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I'm just pushing him down so that he's immersed. And I'm going to leave that for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and see if he's a little more bendable. Hey guys. I'm sitting down because, to be honest, my hip is like completely out of joint. I look like a crazy person today. Jeez Louise. Jen, I'm sorry for what I do to the beautiful creation you make with my hair. Anyway, I'm back to the tarantula molt, a little, little one. It's been probably about 20 minutes. Um, and look, I have no makeup on, no nothing, you guys. Um, I went to the circus workout Wednesday night and I loved it so, so much. It was so much fun, you guys. But I'm paying for it pretty hardcore. My hip is like completely out of joint. And my husband tried to yank it back in for me last night and I don't think it quite <laughs> worked. So I'm gonna have to do it again tonight, which I dread because it hurts. But it hurts if I, worse if I don't do it. Um, so there's a trick that the massage therapist taught my husband to do for me. Then he yanks my leg and it pops my hip back into place. Um, it just didn't go back into place last night. So I'm going to have to have him do it again today. And uh, I hate to ask him to do it and it hurts. <laughs> but if it goes back into place, it's going to feel better tomorrow. So, but I, I don't get back to the massage therapist until next week. So. It'll be fine. I'm just complaining. Anyway, let's get to this tarantula guy. Let's see if it has soaked up some of this water. Oh, it has. I'm so excited, you guys. This is the coolest thing. So this is supposed to soften him up so that I can lay him out pretty. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can. You can probably probably can't see this. You can see two of his little leg pieces in the bowl there. How about now? Let's see. There we go. You can see now. Oh, maybe not. That'll have to be good enough. Okay, so this has been soaking. I don't know if it'll... Let me bend it around enough yet. Just have to be so delicate. Just make sure I'm pulling the legs in the proper direction. <laughs> Gosh, I have to be so careful. Come on, guys. Soften up, soften up. Okay, there we go. Yes, here we go. <laughs> this is a slow little process, isn't it? But that's okay. The more gentle we can be with it now, the better it's gonna look later. I say as if I have ever done this before. It's just pretty easy to tell that you have to be patient and delicate. Look at you. Oh, you're beautiful. I might should use tweezers, but I'm afraid they're going to be too harsh. Now we're talking. Here we go. You guys. Oh, he's beautiful. I'm positive I can repair the legs. Do you see them? <gasps> They're fantastic. Look at you. Look at you. 
I know this is probably going to creep people out. It's okay. This isn't a live spider. This is the molt that the spider left behind because it's glowing. It's a spider that's being healthy. What a cool pattern right here. Okay. So I'm going to pop his legs up here. I say his. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Abigail knows how to sex them, but I don't. And I guess Martina probably knows the names of every one of these. Do you see them, you guys? Didn't it just open beautifully? I'm so excited. Okay. So this guy is going to need to get attached back on. And one little bit. The little foot. Come back. I'm trying to get a hold of it here. That goes, where did it go? Here, I think, maybe. Okay, so I'm thinking for sure it's gonna get airbrush painted. For sure there's gonna be a big beautiful jewel right smack in the middle there. Open up, open up, there we go. We might even have some like gold foil or metal flake on them too. So that's one of the little ones. And I got all of these to open still, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on these one at a time. Get some display boxes for them to go into and get them pinned in once they've been decorated. But I'm gonna try to get him to sit just how I want him to dry. Leave him be overnight and then he should be dry tomorrow. That's where this one goes here. He should be dry tomorrow so I can start working on him, getting his legs glued back together. Poor thing. Oh, no, that's where it goes. This one's longer. There we go. It's like a puzzle. Is that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to bend that one up a bit. Bend that one up. And hopefully it'll dry just like this. So that it'll be able to be displayed inside a case really nicely. So I just wanted to share that. That worked really wonderfully. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, I'm so amazed at like how a little bit of internet research, you can learn so much stuff about something you never thought you'd want to know anything about. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm going to think about what colors we're going to need to do for each one of these. I'm certain that there's going to be some purples going on on at least one of them. Maybe some neon on a few. But there's that for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.